Some people hustle pool, some people hustle cars. But have you ever heard about the man who hustles stars? Jack Horkheimer, star hustler, director of the Miami Space Transit Planetarium. Our episode for this week, Monday, September 9th through Sunday, September 15th, is Eclipse of the Harvest Saturn Moon and How to Watch It, Part 1. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers, and Mark, Thursday evening, September 26th, and early Friday morning, September 27th, on your calendar, as the last total eclipse of the moon over North America until the year 2000. For although Asia and part of Europe will enjoy a total lunar eclipse in 1997, most of you watching this show aren't going to experience a total lunar eclipse until all the years beginning with the number 19 are over. But just what is an eclipse and what causes one? Well, there's a lot of confusion about eclipses and the phases of the moon. You see, every month we're used to watching the moon go from a new nothing to a full something and back again to a new nothing with all the accompanying phases in between. Now, most of us know that when the moon is new, it is in the same part of the heavens where the sun is located. So that although the moon is in the sky, it travels across the sky all day with the sun. And the sun is so bright, it wipes the moon out from view. So a new moon is always invisible. Most of us also remember that whenever the moon is on the opposite side of the earth, it is so situated that its face is completely lit up by the sun's rays, and we call that a full moon. You see, moonlight is nothing more than reflected sunlight. But every so often at time of new moon, the moon, instead of riding just above or just below the sun, passes directly in front of the sun in the daytime and covers it up. And when that happens, we experience an eclipse of the sun. But if during the time of full moon, when the moon is on the opposite side of the earth from the sun, if it rides not above or below the earth's shadow, but directly into the earth's shadow, the Earth's shadow will block the sunlight bouncing off the moon, and the moon will grow slowly dark, and we'll experience an eclipse of the moon. And that's what we're going to experience Thursday and Friday the 26th and 27th. Indeed, our moon will ride directly through the Earth's dark shadow, and for over 70 minutes will be a deep, dark eclipse. And almost everybody in North America, Mexico, and South America will see it. Now, although I'll give you eclipse times in Eastern Daylight Time, simply extrapolate for your own time zone. Partial eclipse begins at 9, 12 p.m. Thursday night, the 26th. And for the next hour and seven minutes, you will be able to watch the progress of the Earth's curved shadow as it slowly covers the face of the moon. Total eclipse will begin at 10.19 p.m. Mid or darkest part of the eclipse will be at 10.54 p.m. And total eclipse will end at 11.29. Then for the next hour and seven minutes until 12.36 a.m., you will be able to watch the moon as it slowly slides out of the Earth's circular shadow and reveals itself once again as a full harvest moon. But this eclipse of the harvest Saturn moon has two special added attractions. Planet Saturn being number one and an eclipse contest being number two. And anyone who sees this eclipse can play. More about that next week. But in the meantime, remember to keep looking up. Star Hustler is produced in cooperation with the Miami Museum of Science and Space Transit Planetarium and is made possible by a grant from the William J. and Tina Rosenberg Foundation, Miami, Florida, USA, where the stars come out at night to play.
like astronomical information, call the 24-hour Cosmic Hotline at 854-2222. That's 854-2222.